everybody, it is Margaret and welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. In today's video, we're going to be talking about BOLOs. BOLO stands for Be On The Lookout. So if you are a reseller and you're wanting to expand your repertoire of things of pick that you are picking up, then make sure to catch this video. This is number 11 in this series and we have been, basically the premise is in my group, International League of Thrifters on Facebook. Um, there's a thread that looks just like this. Let me scroll down a bit so you can see it. Um, bolo. And what our members do is they come over and share a bolo, a recent sale, or a sale within the last month or so of something maybe unusual um, that not everybody knows to run out and pick up. So I encourage everybody to go over join and to share in the next thread um, because sharing is caring, right? We all want to help each other out and that's how we all improve and get better. So if you're watching and just like, I'm going to take all the bolos, you know, go over and share, share the wealth, right? And share your knowledge too because it, it helps out everybody. So I am live and if you're ever interested in catching me live, uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and the little bell next to it to get lots of great content about how to sell on eBay and Etsy and merch by Amazon and things like that. So definitely happy to see everybody in the chat. Hi, everybody. I see Debbie over there and lots of other good friends that come frequently. Christine and Jennifer. Hi, Larry and Angela, Brenda, Delinda, Pamela. Hello, Kara. So... Yeah, um, come and chat because people in the chat are, are awfully nice and answer questions that maybe I don't get to answer in the middle of a video and all that good stuff. So, hey Maggie, so glad to see you guys. Okay, so let's jump into it. So basically the way I do this is um, the people share in the thread and then I do an additional lookup on eBay to see, look at the sold and see is it, you know, what the item that they shared, is it that particular one item that is the bolo or is it that brand or is it, you know, something more specific just so we kind of have an idea when we're out at thrift stores and garage sales, you know, something else to look for. So that's the thread. We didn't have any in the, in the um, jewelry group. Yes, this is a toilet. We are starting with toilets. So, oh, I closed that out. Darn it. Hang on. Let me open that back up because I want to put what, um, let me just pull that to the side. I want to see what everybody's comments were and all that good stuff. Hey, everybody. Say hey to everybody in the chat. Say hey to each other because I can't say hey to everybody. <laughs> um, okay. So, yes, we're starting with a toilet. And this was shared by Caroline Johnson. If you guys don't follow Caroline, oh, that's another perk of this. If you share and you have a YouTube channel or an Instagram or a Facebook group or whatever that you want a, um, a little plug for, then throw that in there because I can say, hey, you know, go over and follow so-and-so because they give out good information too. Um, I, got the, well, I got the coffee wilted, Magnolia. We're good. Okay, so let's do this. Caroline shared a toilet seat. I love it. <laughs> so Caroline she said, I had a quick flip through my solds and decided this would be one of the most interesting from the last few months. Who would have thought a manky old toilet seat would be worth so much? People wanting to renovate an old Victorian property would want to get this sort of thing restored. We got it in an auction job lot, so it cost us a few pounds. We are the Celtic traders on YouTube. And this is a sold $99, pounds, $99 for a... Here it is, used toilet seat. So in the in US, that was $132, y'all, for a wooden toilet seat. So I looked it up and I just put in old wooden toilet seat. And sure enough, you know, that one went on auction. I don't do a lot of auctions really. But look at this one. Antique oak wood toilet seat covered with lid. And these are sold. So look over here. Oh, you can't see it again. So I'm like, look over here. These are sold. Um yeah, so this old toilet seat was sold for $395. Yes, indeedy. So keep an eye out. Now, the new ones don't sell for as much, okay? They want the old, well-worn ones. Okay, whatever. Yep, I don't want the history on that one. So, okay, but if you don't already, make sure you go over and follow Caroline she is one half of the Celtic traders, so and they put out lots of really good informational, fun videos. And she recently had her first jewelry haul, so definitely check that out. Okay, next up, Sarah shared, um, I sold this Ideal, Ideal is the brand, um, Peter Potamus doll for $200 along with another one for the same price. 
Also, better condition and higher price um, has sold before. Now, I looked at Peter Potamus, and I also, he's a Hanna-Barbera character, so, um, so I also looked at Hanna-Barbera, because that's another, you know, collectible thing. So, here are, make sure I click sold, yep, sold on Peter Potamus stuff, and this one has got auctions mixed in with buy it now, so we're looking at books and videos, DVDs, and uh, apparently the Funko Pops with Peter Potamus and Soso are a hot commodity, 88 bucks right there. So you thought it was a Bengal Francis says, nope. Look at this. I remember these rubber headed like hand puppets that are like canvas or something. 101 bucks, y'all. Oh my gosh. Definitely keep an eye out. And and I did a video about this recently with the um Disney characters to keep an eye out for lesser known characters because they can be really collectible. Now whether Peter Potamus is lesser known, I mean of the Hanna-Barbera characters, he's not one of the top ones I think of personally. So it may be that kind of scarcity of his character having stuff out there. So definitely keep an eye out for Peter Potamus. So okay, let's take a look and I def I pulled up um, also just Hanna-Barbera and just did a straight because Hanna-Barbera covers everything from Scooby-Doo to the Jetsons, I think, Flint, yeah, Flintstones. Um, but some of these things, you know, like here's a Bam Bam for 25 bucks. So, you know, keep an eye out. There was a couple others, like here we go, um, Quick Draw McGraw, eh, 15 bucks. But if I see them out for cheap enough, right? Look at this one, Knickerbocker, Huckleberry Hound. Oh, that is a mess, but, you know. So, you know, again, I think that keeping an eye out for lesser-known characters and apparently Peter Potamus is something to, to do, <laughs> to look for. Um, <laughs> Red Neckerson resells. Does ones with Splinter sell better? That would be a whole genre unto itself, I think, of, yeah, I'm not going to go there. <laughs> Y'all know my mind goes <laughs> in funny places sometimes. Okay, so in this one, let me see who shared this one over here. So this was shared by Jerry. Um, Jerry says pretty much any old owner's manual or instruction book um, is available online, but there's definitely a market for the real deal. These air co-welding man mach machine manuals came from a house clean-out. They sold for $23.32 free shipping. I don't have a YouTube channel, but my eBay store is Sure Essentials. So I, I've done that too. I was at an estate sale and we were in the garage and we opened the cupboards and they were there were these electrical manuals like for electrical engineering up on a top shelf and randy happened to be with me i was like get me those manuals down um and so he did he climbed up he pulled them down and the ladies in the estate cell hadn't even didn't even know they were there and so they gave them to me for super cheap so you know and a lot of times these look like this and if they're in an estate cell garage sale they meh, just take it you know give me a quarter so I looked it up, and I just I did Airco manual, um, but definitely you know you can see there. Did I do vintage manuals too? I want to say I did. Maybe I didn't. Okay, so go over there and follow his eBay store. Sure, Essentials Jerry. I think it's a guy's name, but maybe a girl's name. But I think it's a guy. Thanks, Jerry. <laughs> okay, so next, um, best share best actually best actually shared a couple. Um, I picked up these wound draining bandage things at a thrift store for three bucks and sold them today for 38. New medical stuff can go, can go for a lot. She said, my sister picked up some CPAP accessories in new in package and sold them for a hundred bucks. You never know. Well, this is true because even with insurance, a lot of people, you know, it's expensive medical stuff. Forget about it, you know? So you, if you can get some of the pieces cheaper, mm-mm. Okay, so these are, these sold for $39.99, and then I looked up, I just did new, and I'd be new in box medical, just to kind of get an idea of what kind of sold are out there. I mean, there was almost 80,000 results. Um, did my electrical manual sell? I have to go back and look if I ended up, I can't remember if it was something that I sold or if it was something I ended up putting in a garage sale myself. It's been a while. I'll have to go look. Why did you bring it up then, Margaret? I just remembered the story of getting them. After that, it's all a mystery. Okay, so uh, <laughs> so here we've got some other new in box like trach tie tracheotomy tube holders um, sold for twenty four ninety nine. Some 
you know, gloves and uh, there was a couple other things. I didn't sort these out really well, but, you know, trauma wound bandage stuff. Apparently a sheepskin is a medical device, but hey, okay. Medical books. Here's, you know, I saw something with a dog. Here it is. Okay. A dog series trail dog medical kit. Anyway, you get the idea. So if you see new inbox medical stuff, check it out. Go see what it's selling for. Now, this one, I feel like we talked about Peggy Carr before, and I feel like I remember saying, this is one I need to remember, and I promptly forgot. Because I just, you know, this is what I, that's why I love doing this, because I, I can't remember everything. I can't, you know, there's so many things out there, it's hard to, yeah, anyway. Um, Rachel shared this one, Bola Peggy Carr Fused Art Glass, highly collectible and sells quickly. Um, bought two swan plates for seven bucks total and sold them for 107. Now I think her list original listing was here. This is your listing the listing you were looking for is that right now. Um, so I think combined her two ones. So um, and then Jerry and Rachel had a bit of a conversation in the in the chat in that you know uh, Jerry says yeah my wife bought four identical Peggy Carr American flag plates a few months ago sold all four in two days. So paid two bucks each and sold for $45 each. So let's take a look. And I remember saying, I need to remember this because it doesn't look like something I would ever pick up. And I, again, am looking at this saying, wow, this doesn't look like something I would ever pick up. But now I know, I mean, I tend to look at glass, so maybe I've just never seen it. But take a look at that. Orchid, oh, anything orchids, you know, orchid collectors are... And then you got the double whammy with the Peggy Carr and being an orchid, right? So I'm trying to commit it to memory as I scroll. I see florals. I see pansies. Okay. Um, Jen says, I bought medical supplies at an estate sale, but I was too scared to sell them. I figure if they're new in package, it should be okay. You know, as long as they don't look tampered with or, or something. I don't know, you know? I get what you're saying, though, for sure, because you don't want to mess with anybody's medical, yeah, I don't know. Okay, so Jerry shared this one, too. This was a $3 yard sale find that took less than an hour to sell for 80 bucks. It took longer to test it, clean it, and list it. So this is a Black & Decker Space Maker Coffee Brewer, and this is one of those that, those Space Maker things, they mount under the cabinet, you know, so they kind of hang down in the kitchen. So rather than looking for this particular one, I just looked up space maker because I know my grandmother had like a space maker can opener and, and all that good stuff. So I thought, well, let's just look at space maker stuff, right? And sure enough, these are sold. Um, this is a can opener, 35 bucks. Here's another can opener for 70. You know, I've seen, I mean, I see microwaves. Is this just the door? Door assembly. Okay. Um... Yeah, and there was one that was just the coffee pot that was the replacement coffee pot for it that sold. So look here, 20 bucks just for the carafe to replace it, right? Yeah, so Bolo, you know, space maker stuff. There's even under, I didn't even realize they made toaster oven ones that mounted up under. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, even new. Okay, okay they're talking about something else. Sorry. <laughs> Sometimes I get into the chat and they're, they're still talking about something else. Oh, the, the clock radio, the under-the-counter. I can't believe that sold for that much, but hey, it looks like it's got a tape deck in there. Cool. Maybe not. Anyway, so there's that. Oh, and before I keep going, go down there and hit the thumbs up button. And if you have not already, subscribe to my channel because it's nice and it would make me feel better today. <laughs> I'm going to funk. I don't know. No, I put out good content. There's really a better reason. You know, you'll, you'll learn new things and we'll have a good time. Just summon a fun today. So there. <laughs> okay, so Ginny. Ginny shared Steinbach. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Steinbach wooden Christmas ornaments. I, I love Ginny. She got really, and I'll share her, her Facebook group, but she really helps me hone in on a lot more Christmas stuff. So we'll get there. Hang on. Um, so Ginny shared Steinbach Christmas ornaments. I bought this in a, a I thought bought this in a big bag of ornaments for three bucks. So the whole bag of ornaments. And you know, if you go to an estate sale, you walk in, and usually there's a corner or a room or a shelf that they just like all the Christmas stuff goes on here. Um, and I tell this story every time because I'll before I would just look at it, scan it, and keep going. Right? 
Maybe I would look for some wrapping paper if they had minted wrapping paper, but that's pretty much it. But Ginny has shown that not only are there really good things that you can sell for a lot of money, there are a lot of good things to sell for a lot of money. <laughs> so, so yeah, so this she bought this big bag of ornaments for three bucks because not, I mean, that's the thing too. A lot of the estate sale companies or garage sales are like Christmas stuff is just like the kiss of death for some of them. They just want to get rid of it. So they'll, you can get a good deal, right? This is personal. <laughs> I know it's not, you know, not everybody feels that way. Right? Okay, so three bucks. She sold this one angel for $19, $19.99. Um, she says she always has good luck selling vintage wooden ornaments. So this is a little angel that she sold for 20 bucks. Yes. And then I just looked up Steinbach. And, and this company also has like nutcrackers and things like that. But I just did Steinbach ornaments. And these are sold. So here's the Mouse King from the Nutcracker. Um, I'm guessing that's an, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a Nutcracker. So $24. I mean, you can see, just, you could probably pick these up for cheap. And then, yeah, three bids on this one, 62. And look at this title. It's so teeny. <laughs> yeah, pig Christmas ornament, 20 bucks. Cool, cool, cool. Look at the Viking. I just love that. Okay, so Ginny, as I said before, has a Facebook group that you should go and join. Yes, Virginia, every day is Christmas on eBay. And she shares lots of great things that you can pick up to buy that are Christmas related, that sell year round. And y'all, I, I do um, uh, print full and I, you know, print on demand stuff. I just sold a Christmas shirt now, you know, and I'm guessing, you know, because some, some people do like Christmas in July and things like that. So I'm guessing it's for Christmas in July. Christmas sells year round. Okay. <laughs> um, yes, Dave, do it. Go hit the thumbs up. <laughs> um, so Bess shared, sold a Yamuna fitness DVD with foot walkers. Had to look up what these were. I did too. <laughs> they provide circulation and help balance the feet. Paid 60 cents at the bins and sold them for 35 bucks. Some have sold as high as 70. And so I looked up, I just looked up Yamuna. Yamuna. That's kind of fun to say. I just realized that I said it out loud. Um, so Yamuna, it makes me think like Yamuna, your neighbors or something, right? Um, anyway, <laughs> the Yamuna fitness stuff sells. So I'm seeing these, you know, rolling foot walkers here. This is her listing, 35 bucks. Some of just the stuff by itself, like the DVDs, maybe not as much, but with the accessories, it looks like the assess accessories are the the key. So like these balls, save your face fitness balls. Okay. Yamuna and save your face together. Just cheered me up. So, <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. Moving on. <laughs> All right, so this is another one, and, and I, I'm a sucker for these, and I have to just quit picking them up, but vintage cookbooks, because they just, I, I love them. They take up a lot of space, but I love them. So Claire shared, keep an eye out for odd or unusual cookbooks and magazines. Found this one at the library bookstore for a dollar or two and sold for 30 bucks. I also priced mine higher than what I saw others pricing, and she is honestly Ophelia. I don't know if she's in the chat today. She's usually around. So this is a cool one, and I, and I always like picking up cooler, funky ones, um, vintage cookbooks. So thanks, Gabrielle. Yes. Hey, how are you? Um, so here, you know, I just did a search for vintage cookbooks. And as you can see, uh, you know, here's one, United Methodist Women's Church Cookbook. I had so many of these. I had to put them in my garage sale when I moved, you know, when we we're getting ready to move because I had too many. Um, I know best offer was taken, but listed for about 22 bucks. You know, here's a lot for 15. Um, here's the other one. Here's a Firestone Friends, Lake Charles, Louisiana. Okay, yum. And then here's a Miro. So yeah, just and there was a Better Homes, Better Homes and Garden one too. Where did it go? Um, yeah, just do a little digging. 15 bucks for that one. Here's a Marlboro Chuck Wagon cooking from Marlboro Country, 19.99. And Baker's Angel Flake Coconut Animal Cut Up Cake Recipe Booklet. That's kind of fun. Come on. Okay. <laughs> um, what else have we got here? Anyway, well, we could just keep scrolling. But yeah, old vintage cookbooks. Take a peek, especially if they're unusual, like this animal one um, or Marlboro Country. Come on. 
there's that. So, honestly, Ophelia is on Instagram. If you're on Instagram, make sure you go over there and follow her. She puts out really good posts. Ah, I missed this one with the Marines uh, bumper stickers. That's pretty cool. So, that wasn't it, was it? No, 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 that's not it. Okay. So, Karen, funny, we got another um, medical supply. So, Karen shared... <clears throat> Pardon me. Uh, CPAP mask bought for two about two dollars each and sold within forty eight hours for twenty three fifty each. Same buyer, free FC shipping, first class. I wanted a quick flip, or I could have priced higher. Wow, that's a really quick sale. So I, I didn't end up looking up more because we looked up the medical stuff earlier. My hair's being weird. What's going on with that? I don't know what you're doing. Whatever. Um. So was that it? Was that it? Oh, no, no. Okay, so she's got a Facebook page, East Lane Avenue. So go over there and follow that. Look at that face. It's a face only a mother could love. <laughs> but go over there and follow her Facebook page as well. Wow, that felt really fast. I feel like maybe I didn't chat with you guys as much as normal. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, go over there and join International League of Thrifters. And Hit the subscribe button so you get no and the bell so you're notified when I put out new content. Um, yeah, and I am working on that Etsy SEO. I already recorded it. It's just taken a minute to edit it. So I now have had a couple people saying, when is it coming out? So it's going to be a four, four parter. So be ready for Etsy. <laughs> okay, thanks so much, you guys, for coming to hang out live and leave me a comment. Let's get another bolo down in the comment section. And if you have not yet, check out the comment section because there's always great discussions going on and wonderful people leaving more tips for how you can improve your Etsy and eBay business. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye, everybody. Have a great evening, afternoon. Bye-bye.